So what can you see? The top navigation lands you on your home screen, so let's look at that first. The first thing you'll notice is your predicted cash. This might change once you've done the quick tidy up, so don't get hung up on the figures right now. But what is important is that you can scroll the whole page left for your historical data from your accounts package and right for your predicted future. You can always see the current month in the middle. Check your settings next. They are the basis for a lot of calculations, so are quite important. We've mapped best guesses for you already. Your primary bank account goes here, the one you transact with the most. Your account's receivable account, sometimes called trade debtors or debtors. This is the account where invoices are owed to you by customers is held. Your account's payable account, sometimes called trade creditors or creditors. This is the account where bills owed by you to suppliers is held. Your VAT or GST scheme, is it accrual or cash-based? Your VAT or GST control account, this is found in your balance sheet under current liabilities. Your VAT or GST period frequency, is it monthly or quarterly? The end of the current VAT or GST period. Your default VAT or GST rate for sales and purchases in your country, 20% in the UK for instance, 10% in Australia. And then how many days after a VAT or GST period ends you have to pay it? We've set it to 37 days as default, as if your period end was the 31st of March, you'd have to pay it by the 7th of May in the UK. But wherever you are, you can change that to your locale. Looking underneath, this is where your day-to-day -day engine room can be found. Sales, cost of sales and expenses. Your other account categories are in the financial section, which you can find in the top here. Each account has two views. Activity is basically what you buy or sell without tax on the date that it happens, like the net amount on a customer invoice or sales from lunchtime covers in a restaurant. Keep an eye on your sales trends here and do the same for your costs too, of course. And then there's the cash impact view, which is when that activity will actually get paid. And this all contributes to the predicted cash above, but more on that in a bit. All of these accounts have been pulled through from your accounts package automatically and any new accounts you create in your accounts package will also be brought through. So that's how to add new ones. We're going to come back to the predictions and the homepage in a minute, but the next important place is the invoices page accessed in the top navigation here. Predict is totally unique as its predictive algorithms combine your historical data across the profit and loss and balance sheet as well as invoices and bills that are due. So it gives the most accurate short, medium and long term view of your business. Here, you need to check the invoices first and see if there are any that are going to be paid on a different date from what we've said. Edit them here and exclude any that will never be paid. Don't worry, you can include them again if you need to. Then do the same for your bills. This exercise will of course be a lot smaller when you log in next as part of your twice weekly or weekly check-in as you still know more about your business than we do and you'll be generating new information. But we'd recommend you always do this first. Now that you've got the invoices and bills nice and accurate, let's head back to find out about the predictions and explain where they come from as you've got to trust us. This is the nerdy bit, so fast forward if you want, but it's important to us that you know how we've calculated your future numbers. The first thing Predict does is alter its algorithms by account, as rent accounts behave differently to salary accounts, for instance. It then splits up your data into different transaction types, running the algorithms over all of your invoices, bills, spend and receive money transactions, and journals, looking for trends, seasonality, growth patterns, and even COVID effects. The predictions are then zipped back up into this Futurely Predicts activity line that you see here. Now, if you hit any of the cells, the number is explained. We're totally transparent with you and how predictions have been made. If you think it's wildly out, then you can quite simply toggle off the row here. You'll see it's now been removed from the sales totals and cash calculations, and you can create your own predictions, which I'll show you how to do shortly. Let's now flip to the cash impact view for this account. Every historical transaction has a payment history. It might be a same day payment like in hospitality or a customer might pay you in 60 days from an invoice. Predict aggregates every payment for every transaction across all customers and suppliers, journals and spend or receive money. It might flag payment trends you didn't realize or trends that if left to continue will not be as expected. That's the point. 
Predict is your early warning system. You'll also see any unpaid invoices and bills in red in this view from the invoices section you explored earlier. Again, hit any futurely prediction cell to see the number explained. And if you're concerned about credit control and customers paying you, try out Flow, predict little sister. It'll help you get on top of today's cash. You can customize your business's future outlook by creating as many predictions as you need. New staff, reducing staff, new products or services, price changes, loan repayments, you get the idea. You can test every decision before you make it, so you feel in control of the final choice. Hit the green plus on accounts to create your own, and you can choose which method is best suited to your needs. Freestyle. Name it, enter the activity figures in the boxes, hit the tick, and then for total cash flow accuracy, choose the date you want to store it, change the VAT or GST figure if it isn't your default, your default as you see it here will always be used otherwise, and then enter the cash impact. Is it a same day payment or split 50% on the invoice date and 50% on delivery, for instance? The repeating method does what it says on the tin, repeats amounts. But you can also increase or decrease the weekly or monthly amounts by an amount or a percentage. The same two checkpoints are next, VAT or GST and the cash impact. Units for products or services you sell or buy is all pretty straightforward and you can even add a percentage of refunds to it. Again, check the VAT or GST and cash impact. Let us know if you want more methods. Remember, you can toggle on and off predictions, so this is a great way to explore different scenarios. Finally, let's head to the financial section. This is where you want to perform your final review of the futurely predictions for every account and add your own. Balance sheet predictions like fixed asset or loan repayments are things you'll enter once and that's it. There might be other income or expenses that you have though. We store our R&D rebates in other income, for instance. You'll see your profitability here, which I'm guessing you'll want to keep in mind. And quite importantly, because we are the only small business financial prediction software that calculates predicted VAT from transactions in your actual and predicted data, you can always check whether you're going to be able to afford it here in the balance sheet. This figure will change every day as actual data replaces predicted data within your VAT period or GST period as time passes. You may also have deferred your VAT or GST due to COVID. If you have, and to ensure cash flow next year is more accurate, enter the amount and date here. Now, you're a pro. There's an interactive tour next to take you through those exact steps and then set some time aside for your customization if you can't do it now. Remember, it's a one-off task now and then just simple maintenance. Enjoy your new SatNav and please feedback with what you love and what you'd like to see it do. If you join Peer, our community, you'll find our Futurely Roadmap, which you can vote on. So get involved. We're building this for you.